It's a full and diverse and interesting season for this year for the Kearney Concert Association. Steve Lewis joins us via the phone line to chat up the upcoming season. You are in subscription drive mode, I hear, Steve. Officially, we start this coming Tuesday, but, uh, I mean, you can call up and we'll give you an early shot. <laughs> <laughs> you have very few tickets actually left for the whole season. And we only sell season tickets. That's how we can do this. We don't sell individual show tickets, and we have a fabulous season. And it's only $50 for adults for the whole season, 25 for students, including college students. Or if a husband and wife come for $100, that's two people, it's only 10 bucks to bring all your kids that are full-time students. We really want to encourage quality music and quality performances by professional international artists, and this is truly an international year we have this year. As I said, it's a diverse program as well. We're going to start off uh, with uh, 60s and 70s music with a tribute to Frankie Valli by four gentlemen who have been Broadway stars. And so the first half of the show, they're going to do all Frankie Valli and Four Seasons songs, and then the second half, uh, they're going to do all Broadway show tunes. That's on Friday, October 14th, to start our season off. And then on Sunday, November 6th, we have a group called Anderson and Rowe. These are both Juilliard top graduates, and they're going to play piano duets on one piano. And these guys are fabulous, uh, and they're, <laughs> they're entertaining, believe me. We're trying to get a camera that we can put a screen up so that you can actually watch their hands as well. Oh, that would be cool. Uh, that we really are, are trying our best to get that. I'm not going to make a promise, but we're working on that. So if we can get that done, it'll be fabulous. They call themselves the Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers of, uh, of the keyboard. <laughs> oh, they do. Uh, sometimes she's sitting between him. Sometimes one's on one side, one's on the other <laughs> side. Uh, and sometimes when they're one on each side, it goes his hand, her hand, his hand, her hand. <laughs> Oh, man. That takes it, a little coordination. Oh, that's why they call themselves Fred and Ginger at the it's, keyboard, because exactly. their hands are dancing. <laughs> <laughs> and then a real feather in, in your cap, coming up February 5th, there is this new hot choral group from England coming to little old Kearney, Nebraska, February 5th. <laughs> they have all been choristers with the Westminster Abbey Chorus, and the group is called Voches 8 from London. And they are just hilarious. Uh, you have to see that videotape on YouTube to, to see them. They are just funny. They are a cappella, and they'll do everything from 13th century chants and stuff that uh -huh. you'll hear on your station right. to clear up into the modern-day music a cappella. That one by itself is diverse. This group has, has created quite a buzz here in the past uh, couple of months. I think they've got a uh, CD coming out. So that's uh, going to be a nice uh, little uh, preview of the future of classical music stars, Voce 8, coming up February 5th at the Kearney Concert Association. Uh, all of these shows are going to be at the Merriman Center, correct? Right. At the Merriman Center, they're all at 7 o'clock, and they're all either Friday, Saturday, or Sunday evening this year. We worked out where it's all on the weekend. Then February 25th, we have Bottom Line Duo. It's a husband and wife team. They've been working together for almost 20 years. They are just hilarious, I understand. They're only the third group, I understand, in all of history to tour internationally with a cello and a bass. Uh, she plays the cello, he plays bass. And uh, that's going to be on the 25th. And then we have our big feather. The big the, one. The, the big, big feather. And for those who've been to the Merriman, you know what a fabulous uh, place, what fabulous acoustics it is. I had to go measure the stage, height, width, and depth, and we <laughs> made their minimum size to bring this group here by 3, 6, and 12 inches. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and when you see the video, you'll understand uh, there are between 70 and 75 people going to be on stage. Well, don't uh, keep us in suspense any longer, Steve. Who is it? The Red Star Army Orchestra Chorus <laughs> and Dance Assemble. When you see them, they have so much energy. Ah, dancing uh, with swords, dancing with their hands and their feet uh, down on fours backwards. <laughs> and Oh, if if you know how the Russians dance, these guys can do it. And they have some ladies that I don't know how they don't turn up dizzy. <laughs> because I was watching the video, and they don't spot when they're twirling. And they're twirling, they're, they're like a bouncing uh, pogo stick going wow. across the stage. And they don't spot it, and I'm going, I'm No net, dizzy. huh? No <laughs> net. <laughs> no, and they've got their whole live orchestra with them as well. So that'll be Friday, April 13th. And again, all that whole season, 
$50 for adults. They're going to be traveling around Nebraska. They're at the Lead Center a couple of times. But this is a great way for everybody in Nebraska to try to come to a show with the Red Star Army Chorus at the Merriman Performing Arts Center, part of the Carney Concert Association season coming up. The subscription drive is up and running. We have a beautiful website. It's carneyconcerts.org. We're trying to get a link up there to, to our YouTube. Uh, but if not, just go to YouTube and type in Carney Concerts and you can see uh, performances by these folks, and they are just fabulous. Once again, travel online, carneyconcerts.org, to view uh, what's coming up at the Carney Concert Association at the Merriman Center this year. Steve Lewis, thanks very much for talking with us. Thank you very much, Bill.